It's another sleepy Sunday morning. And we're in the workshop, just like always. Got a lot to do today. I always say that, but I always have a lot to do today. Um, tomorrow I'm going fishing, and we're taking a riverboat out. It should be an awesome time. So we're going to do a couple of promo shoots tomorrow. And I have a lot to get done so that I can get to that and feel comfortable about going. Not feeling guilty about having work to do. But I've got pieces to show you guys. Um, for those of you that tuned in to the Facebook Live Paint Sessions video yesterday, thank you. I um, had uh, 1,200 views, uh, more, something like that. And uh, just blew up. So thank you guys so much for being a part of that. And lots of commentation, lots of really constructive questions and I really enjoyed it. If you guys like those Facebook live streaming formats um, and and some Bob Marley, but they Facebook Facebook shut that down pretty quick. So unfortunately, um, music is more than proprietary. Like here on YouTube, we can use music, a lot of different music. Um, there's Creative Commons music and license free music that we can get permission and use for monetized videos. But all YouTube does is if you want to use like regular syndicated uh, label music, they just demonetize the video. Not a big deal. On Facebook, it's a little bit different. Um, anyways, I'm not going to get off on that because it's all about the baits. I've got the blue glove on. One of these days, they're going to make a glove that's small enough for my hand. Um, I get a lot of questions asked. Why do I wear this? It's simply to keep the baits as pure as I can. Um, you don't want to transfer oils and stuff off your fingers. And uh, we're going to get right into it. Got more of these going out this morning. Actually, tomorrow morning. This is that black backed shad, red eyes, custom red eyes. Um, these are on the foiled, the pre foiled Lucky Craft pressing of uh, 2.5 blank. And they are available right now at Predator Bass Baits if you guys want to look to pick up the, uh, the blank. And it, it's a pretty good swimmer. Overall, the weight is good. It's got a nice rattle to it. Sounds really good in the water, swims really good in the water. Lots of pop and flash. This is Gilly Gilly. This is actually all one order, so we're going to put all these in the light. This is a Strike King. Got some customs going out in that elite red crawl. And uh, I tell you, there, there's something that, that's really captivating about painting, uh, doing custom repaints on a pro line on the Strike Kings because there's it's such a smooth bait you know there's there's no um, gill plate that's raised like on so many of the other other baits which is part of why it swims the way it does in the water but these these strike kings there you just can't go wrong with them i've got them on 2.5s 2.0 um and then this and it's got just a little bit of dust on it but tis the season well, static cling everywhere um, luckily it doesn't transfer onto the baits underneath, but once the clear coat goes on, it does have a little bit of a static property to it, but that just comes right off. So it's not actually on the bait itself. It's just, there's dry, there's no humidity in the air, which is great for painting, but, um, not great for featuring baits on workshop updates. <laughs> so all that stuff is just superficial, just a little dust. Clean that up and it'll be just fine. Rotten strawberries on these 62-5A. These are the duo pressing that Cedar Run is featuring right now. And you get the 5B over at Dinger. That raspberry on the bottom. And the uh, wicked fluorescent green line of paint. Just accents. A little bit of random splatter. And that underlayer segments really makes that 3D. Um, so I think I'm gonna start doing that on mine all the time because it really gives a property that's pretty cool to these baits. You look like you can peel the, those segments right up off of the off the bait. Time to get new gloves. I'm starting to rip these. I'll show you the 1.5 on the Strike King real quick. Those red eyes. And then we did um, 
the live stream paint session. These have just come off the clear coat rack from last night. I will flash a picture as to what reference was used for these. And it's the same reference that was used for this batch over here. Yes, there are other baits in here as well. This, because I'm all about transparency, this is actually a bait that I picked up from Tackle Warehouse. I don't know if you guys know Trey Harpel, but he has been um, a high-end real cleaner and has a very successful real repair business a uh, couple states up from me. But he also is a really good paint slinger. And uh, this was, I, I purchased this from Tackle Warehouse. Oh my gosh, it's probably been like five or six years. And I was going through some tackle trays the other day and I happened to come across this one. So if you guys don't know Trey Harpelt's TH Customs, you can find him on Facebook. You can find him, I think he's still a member of Bass Baits by and Barter. And he's got his own website and does some really cool wake baits. He specializes in skirting the wake baits, which I don't do. But you can see this has got a killer skirt on it. So go check him out. Give him some love. Give him some, some lure love because he is also a pretty good paint slinger as well. So that's my little prop for Trey. Trey, if you're out there, good on you. I love your baits too. Love your stuff. Um, but back to the live stream. The reference photo probably just flashed over top, but we did a couple of different um, runs of this, and it is very time-consuming to do. It's a lot of, of hand detailing, but, man, it just comes out so good, so good. I love doing this. This might be my favorite pattern that I've done to date in a bluegill. I normally, I love fishing bluegills, and I love spending time creating them, but I just don't focus on them because I really love the craw patterns. I love, love, love craw patterns and trout patterns. That kind of seems to be where my thing is. But you guys are seeing this brook trout. I've featured that before, but the reason I pulled it back out today is because now it's complete. So both of these heavy musky blanks came from Johnston Lure Company. And they're a company out of Ontario, Canada. And they do a lure contest every single year. And uh, it's there's two categories. This is called a toothache. And uh, you put it on the, the law stick down here. The body from nose out is about five, maybe five and a quarter. And then with that bill, this bait is six, about six and a half inches with the bill. So it is a big bodied bait. It's meant for big game fish. Um, but this is, this is the pattern that I did for the 2019 lure contest in the toothache pattern or the toothache body. A lot of texture in this bait, I'm noticing. But these are, you can tell, they do, they, they specifically only press these two kinds of blanks that I know of. If I'm wrong, Johnston, please make some comments. Um, and then this is their perch body, which is also, I mean, it's just flipping killer. And I did a, a brook trout, obviously, an indigenous brook trout. And um, I named these things, if you go to the Instagram page that I'm going to feature these on, uh, I named them in the traditional Ojibwe nation's language. So this is the red sun brook trout. And then one more pass at the sunfish aguadashi, I think. And if I'm butchering that, I am so sorry because I'm not familiar with the language, but I think that that's how you pronounce that. And that is all the news that's fit to print. Thanks for hanging out. Um, I'll pick another one of these up just real quick to show you how these turned out. And this is actually from a fish that I caught in the winter of 2015 on a little sliver of a river in uh, Silver Spring, Maryland, along the Rachel Carson Greenways Trail. Um, Microfishing, just used a little tiny blade bait. On the opposite side of that is some pretty big pooling and some rocks. There's a gorgeous trail back there. If you guys are in the Maryland area 
and Silver Spring, go Google Maps the Rachel Carson Greenway Trail and go fishing. They stock the other side of the highway with trout. Um, just beautiful, gorgeous place to walk, hike, fish, um, take your pets, take your dog. But um, there you have it. That's, that's it, you guys. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your weekend. I may or may not watch Super Bowl. If I do, I, you know, really, it's only going to be to see if Game of Thrones drops a trailer in the halftime section of it. Isn't that horrible? Um, you know me. I'm a Steelers fan, and I'm just going to not say any more than that. So uh, I may or may not watch the Super Bowl. Um, for those of you that I saw on Tackle Junkies live stream yesterday, hey, thanks for saying hi. Uh, I don't. I try not to say a whole lot, um, and I and I really don't hype up myself on those because it's not my stream so out of respect for whoever's given the stream i'm not going to do that but thank you guys for saying hi yesterday that was really cool talking to you guys so we'll see you on the next one and i'll talk to you soon happy casting and spring is right around the corner you guys cheers just real quick um i have not produced the video yet so i wanted to include these because i'm going to be on the water tomorrow um we're going to be doing some testing and fishing, a little 1v1 competition, or 1v3, actually, as it were. Um, but I wanted to include Kevin's Copper Cross. And these are all gonna be clear-coated and shipped out by Tuesday morning. Just wanted to give you guys a quick look at it before the dog goes crazy again. That's it. Thanks, guys.